guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to talk about ATV launcher. There are a few questions asking about how to set up ATV launcher and how to make the icons bigger. So today I am going to talk about that. So let's start with the basics. In your ATV launcher, you will probably find some apps with bigger icons and some of them are just like this with smaller icons. ATV Launcher shows the app banner of an app by default if they have one. If you don't like the app banner or if you don't like the icons or the title, you can actually change it. Personally, I don't like the way it looks like now. So what I usually do is that I go to Google and search for the app icon for that app and then I display Disable the icon, disable the title, and then I will change the background of that app. Disabling the icon and title will leave a blank rectangle here. If you don't like it to look so rectangle, you can change the border radius of it. The next thing I'll do is go to change the image background to one of the pictures that I have downloaded already. I'm going to change it to a random picture for demonstration purpose. After changing anything, you can always click B for back and you can close your windows after clicking a few times and then it will appear. And if there is an app banner available, you can always change it back. I do the same thing for every single app that I've installed and I think it will look a lot better if you do so. So now your icons looks better, so let's look at how to make them all bigger. To do so, you have to go to application menu, launcher settings and go to sections and then go to applications. You can change the size of your icons by changing rows and height. I personally think that setting rows to 3 and setting heights to 120 would be the best fit option for Retro Pocket 2. You can decide whether to scroll your menu vertically or horizontally. The default setting would probably be a vertical scrolling. However, my personal preference is scrolling it horizontally because it would look a lot more alike to a 3DS. And I don't like that some apps can only display half of it when you scroll down. So if you use a horizontal one, it will not kind of cut it into half or something. If you want to reorganize your apps, you can long press it and click move and then you'll be able to move it around. For those who have a blank space at the top of your launcher, that is because you have no widget but the widget section is showing. To hide the widget section, you have to bring up your menu, go to launcher setting, go to section, and then go to widgets, and then disable the option of show section. If you want to change the wallpaper when you are using ATV launcher, you have to change it from the launcher instead of your Android settings, or otherwise you will not be able to do so. 
To change your wallpaper, go to Launcher setting, go to Wallpaper, and go to Select Wallpaper, and you can pick one from the folder where you store your wallpapers. Hiding apps is one of the paid features of ADV Launcher. You can do so by going to Settings, and then go to Hidden Apps. You can hide your apps by simply clicking them and you can unhide them by clicking them again. This will be very handy for those who are using DIG instead of running games from emulators directly. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Please like it if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. There will be another tutorial coming up soon. It will probably be the last tutorial for my channel before the Android 8.0 update. That will be the longest tutorial for my channel and it will probably cover all the things that I haven't talked about.